Good afternoon and welcome to the School Star Pack Awards Ceremony 2020. The School Star Pack Awards are designed to help students understand the work that goes into the packaging surrounding the products they consume and teach them about the vital role packaging plays in the consumer market. This year we welcomed entries from Year 7 up to AS level and with 180 entries to judge there was no shortage of excellent work. Our judges awarded 15 highly commended, 11 bronze, 17 silver and 16 gold awards. Whilst recognising and rewarding the students' efforts, we must also thank the sponsors Graphic Packaging International, Klockner Packaging, RPC Design and Logoplast, who through their sponsorship and commitment to supporting this competition will encourage and enable talented students to move into our industry. We'd love to see how you're celebrating at home with your family and friends. You can share your tweets and pictures throughout the ceremony using the hashtag StarPackSchools2020 at StarPack Awards. Right, let's start handing out some awards and we'll kick off today's ceremony with the winners of Brief A, sponsored by Logoplast, which challenge students to create a sustainable shampoo bottle. I'm pleased to introduce Chris Clark to tell us more about Logoplast and their brief. Logoplast have been sponsoring the StarPack Schools category for the last eight years now. Logoplast are a leader in the production and development of sustainable rigid plastic packaging. But we're more than a supplier, we're a partner to our clients, working together with them to come up with creative and competitive solutions for everyday common packaging. This is what makes us unique. Logoplast is committed to providing sustainable rigid plastic packaging solutions that provide the environment for a unique wall-to-wall business model. A model that reduces CO2 emissions and packaging waste, at the same time delivering unrivaled, innovative packaging with an operational model that results in the fastest time to market and unmatched customer satisfaction. Thanks for that, Chris. So the judges awarded one highly commended, one bronze, two silver and three gold. And the winner of our first highly commended is Sophie O'Donnell from Lady Eleanor Hollis School. The sponsors really like the ornamental design and refillable options, so congratulations Sophie. Our first bronze award of the ceremony goes to Amelie Kirby from Cranberry Middle School. The concept design was very relevant with great messaging and use of ocean and beach material. Well done Emily. We move on to the first of our two silver awards now with an entry that captured the judges' attention with its well-presented development boards that included great research. Congratulations to Katie Barton from Queen Elizabeth School. Helen Toombs of Plymouth High School for Girls is our next Silver Award winner. The judges really liked the simplicity of the design and choice of materials that would make it easy to produce. Great work, Helen. Our first Gold Award for this category goes to Al Io from Greek City Academy. This project showed excellent consideration to sustainability with a fantastic use of ocean material and innovative labelling. Congratulations, Al. The next Gold Award is presented to an entry that met the brief very well and a well-executed model that showed wonderful design creativity and recycling consideration. A really great job to Amy Martin of Plymouth High School for Girls. And now to announce the Sponsor Award for this category, let's welcome back Chris Clark from Logoplast. The points that we wanted the, the school students to consider were the visual design and shelf presence and performance of actually using the pack, decoration where appropriate for shelf standouts, the afterlife and end of life, how it fits into mainstream recycling and ultimately the materials that were selected. Some materials are more sustainable to use than others. Now, Nathan Flanagan came up with some interesting design concepts on his development mood board and ultimately selected a design route that showed a very well thought out approach. You could really see the shampoo bottle being used by the consumer in a practical way. It delivered good shelf standout presence 
consideration of the material selection and the use of recycled content and Nathan also made reference to the extrusion blow moulding platform that would be used to manufacture the shampoo bottles. So well done Nathan. All of the school entries this year were of a very good level but we thought that Nathan really did deliver against the brief credentials and therefore we award him the, the, the local Blast award this year. Thank you. Congratulations Nathan. Next we have the Klockner Pentaplast Sponsored Award, Brief B, Food to Go Packaging to Promote Healthy Eating for Children Challenge. Let's hear from Ada Serco from Klockner Pentaplast to tell us more about their brief. Hello, at KP we are really happy to have been a sponsor for the school's Starbuck Awards. And as such, we presented our, our brief for the Food to Go Packaging to Promote Healthy Eating for Kids. I just want to really explain you really shortly what was our brief about, just to refresh ourselves. So our brief was primarily focused on promoting healthier food to go choices for kids, as we think that it's a really key, port key important step to promote healthy eating and well-being and reduce obesity around the world. Packaging has a really key important role that can play in this. As such, it protects the food in how when we buy it, and as well, it creates like a base to create inspirational packaging concepts so that children they feel a bit more engaged with the product and they can go, for example, with their parents to the supermarket and buy more healthy eating that then they will eat. Um, we need to keep in mind that our brief was mainly focused to be um, to include thermoformed plastic uh, components and as such as well we were encouraging that it was used recycled uh, plastic in it. One of the key points that we were looking into this brief it was that the product had good visibility so that you were buying the you could see the product itself that it was allowing food to be eaten easily and that you could have like clear portion control so that you could eat something now and then eat a bit more later and of course that it engaged um, kids and with fun graphics and a really smart design. Thanks Ada. In this category judges awarded one highly commended, one bronze, two silver and four gold awards. The highly commended award for this brief goes to Maya Rivers from the Southwolds Academy in sixth form for an attractive concept that would have great shelf appeal for the target audience. The board showed great research and the judges really enjoyed seeing the development of the idea. So well done, Maya. We're pleased to present Grace Peglar from Altrincham Grammar School for Girls with the Bronze Award. This entry showcased fantastic research on different polymer types and exploration of ideas. Congratulations, Grace. Now for the Silver Award winners. Congratulations to Samantha Coltart from the Rygate School of Art. This entry really caught the judges' attention with its dynamic branding and packing personality that would appeal to the younger consumer and engage healthy eating. Well done, Samantha. Altrincham Grammar School for Girls comes back into play for the next Silver Award. Zara Bathurst showed excellent market research and presented an eye-catching solution that would encourage healthy eating. Well done, Zara. Matthew Malloy of the Southwolds Academy in Sixth Form takes our final Silver Award for this brief with his excellent use of brand communication for food nutrition and portion control. The sponsors really enjoyed seeing the journey to your final concept. Great work, Matthew. Moving on to our gold awards for this category, our first award goes to an entry that appealed to the judges with its clear and well-presented development boards. Congratulations to Finley Ivory from Maiden Early School in Reading. The next gold award goes to Katrina Stevens from the Downs School. This project wowed the sponsors with its excellent visual boards, which showed a fantastic journey from initial concept to final design. Great work, Katrina. Lyara Mendes of Haberdasher's Ask School for Girls also receives a gold for a truly unique concept that would attract children to healthy eating whilst allowing for portion control. Well done, Lyara. And now we hand back to Ada to announce the final gold and Clock the Pentaplast award for this brief. 
I would like to congratulate the student that won Klockner Pentaplast School's brief, and that was Jamie Chape from Winston Lee College. Congratulations. We really love the entry as uh, it was called Children's Bento Box, as we found that uh, there was great research on it. There was uh, research on uh, NGO as well, and we found that it was a really strong concept with great branding for kids, as it was also mentioning a bit the nutritious value and so on. Uh, as I just said, the branding was really aligned with the target group of this packaging, and we found that the packaging that was created was really allowing portioning control so that you could eat a bit of the sushi at one time and then a bit later on go and eat a bit further. So we really want from Klogner Pentaplast, uh, we just want to congratulate you once again. Congratulations Jamie and to all of our winners in this brief there were some really great designs. So we now move on to the RPC Design Sponsored Award which we asked students to design a seasonal confectionery pack. Here's Brian to tell us more about RPC and their brief. Hello, my name is Brian Lodge. I'm the design manager of RPC, which is part of the Berry Group. It's one of the largest manufacturers of plastic packaging in the world. I lead a team of designers creating a wide range of different types of plastic packaging, which is manufactured across Europe. For the 2020 School Star Pack Awards, we asked you to create a piece of seasonal packaging for your favorite chocolate or candy product that was both desirable to have and suitable for one of the big occasions that we have during the year. The brief we, cre we created is very similar to several that we carry out at RPC, so it is close to the type of work that we do. Seasonal packaging is probably our favorite type of project design uh, because we can have a, the most fun doing the work and really hope that we'd see this in the submissions that we had as well as the general aspects like quality of design idea, drawing and presentation skills. There were several specific things we were particularly looking for in the project. The product is sold in shops or supermarkets, so must look great on the shelf, but also protect the sweets inside. RPC are manufacturers of plastic packaging, so the pack needs to be made predominantly from plastics. Sustainability is a very important issue, so we look at how the pack can be recycled or reused. Seasonal packs have, an appeal, have to appeal to the person who, who it is intended for, so we look for a wow factor for the target age group. Finally, integration of shape and graphics is very important to consider, so we assess how the shape and branding work together. Thanks, Brian. There were some fantastic entries in this category, and the judges awarded four highly commended, three bronze, three silver, and two gold awards. The first of the highly commended awards goes to Eliza Rozek from the Maiden Early School. Eliza presented a very simple but visually clever concept that played to the strengths of plastic. Great work. The next highly commended is for an entry that was very seasonal. The sponsors thought that the manufacturing technique was very innovative. Congratulations Harrison Nurse from Bungay High School. Rojni Prabhu from Altrincham Grammar School for Girls has been awarded a highly commended for her unique and eye-catching design. The pack showed great knowledge of material strengths and weaknesses and the design plays to acrylic PET strengths very well. So well done Rojni. It's another award for Bungay High School as the final highly commended of this brief goes to Thomas Curry. The project showed great exploration of ideas, research and processes to achieve the final design. Congratulations Thomas and to all our highly commended recipients. Moving swiftly on to the Bronze Awards, starting with Ailing Haxton from the Downs School, who caught the judges' attention with her unique interpretation of seasonal. Great work Ailing. The next bronze award goes to Sianna Warren Wilkinson from the Southwolds Academy in sixth form. The project demonstrated great research and an intriguing solution that would offer an event in opening. The judges really enjoyed seeing the fun you had exploring the concept. Well done. The final bronze award in this category is awarded to an entry that combines seasonality and after use very strongly to create a design that could be adaptable to multiple seasons. Congratulations to Jane Chippasakunda from Waldingham School. 
Now for the silver recipients, the first award goes to Josette Dakina of Maiden Early School. This design really said Halloween without having to say it. The judges really liked how you demonstrated how the pack is constructed and works on your board. Congratulations, Josette. Kristen Mackey of Altrium Grammar School for Girls is awarded a silver for a very interesting design concept that was well researched and explored. Well done, Kristen. The final silver award for this brief goes to Julienne Betuin of Cardinal Heenan Catholic High School with her excellent model that demonstrated how plastic can be used to bring across seasonality. Great work, Julienne. Our first gold award goes to Max Crompton, also from Cardinal Heenan Catholic High School. This design showed fantastic understanding of branding with a very professional output that was a great fit for Malteser, whilst also showing the real benefits of plastic for this type of packaging. Congratulations, Max. Now I'm pleased to welcome back Brian from RPC to present the Sponsors Award for this category. I'm delighted to announce that the winner of the RPC Sponsors Award is Elias Shah from Westminster Kingsway College with a wonderful design for a sleigh full of chocolate. Overall, we're impressed not only with the quality of the idea, but the presentation and model were also excellent. The boards were simple but effective and the model was well built, showing the idea very well. Some presentation boards can be very cluttered, but Elia kept them simple with clear photographs documenting the ideas that were created and how the project progressed. Everything was explained in detail, clearly and precisely. The model was excellent and constructed with great intricacy, showing off the idea to great advantage. The choice of colours and addition of tie wrap completed the product. Congratulations, Elia, for winning the Sponsors Award and we wish you every success in the future. Congratulations again to Alia Shah from Westminster Kingsway College. What a fantastic design. We now move on to our final category of the competition and we hope that you're still with us. Uh, let's hear from Kate Jackson at Graphic Packaging International to tell us more about their brief, Eco-Friendly Easter. Hi everyone, my name's Kate Jackson and I'm Innovation Lead working within the Conceptual Design Team based at Graphic Packaging International Barden. Graphic Packaging are one of the largest manufacturers of paperboard and paper-based packaging, with over 70 facilities worldwide producing innovative packaging solutions for some of the world's most recognised brands of food, beverage, food service, household, personal care and pet care products. We are committed to protecting the environment and have a product portfolio that emphasises renewable, recycled and recyclable materials. This year our brief was focused around creating a sustainable Easter gift pack created using a 100% carton board. We were looking for this pack to appeal to 11 to 17 year olds and some of the key considerations we were looking for were how would the pack look on shelf? Would it stand out and be eye catching? How well would the product be protected? And what could the packaging become afterwards? Was there a clear after use? And finally some exploration to the target market. Who was this pack meant to appeal to? Thanks for that Kate. The standard of entries for this category was exceptionally high and you'll see that this is reflected in the volume of awards that were awarded for this category. The judges awarded 8 highly commended, 7 bronze, 8 silver and 7 gold awards. The first award in this category goes to Paulina Lucio of Kirkby Kendall School. This entry showed good design, exploration and clear development with a great model. Well done, Paulina. The next highly commended award is for an entry that displayed a playful design with great consideration to after use. The initial research was great and showed clear direction. Congratulations to Mackenzie Taylor from Oakland's College. Kirkby Kendall School comes back into play for the next highly commended award. Kelsey Freeston showed some great design ideation. The finished product demonstrated a clear Easter theme that would look great on the shelf. Well done, Kelsey. Josie Everett from Rygate School of Art has been awarded a highly commended for her entry. The sponsors really liked the use of internal and external print. Congratulations, Josie. The next highly commended award goes to a pack that showed great initial research and consideration to after use. Congratulations to Frankie Sadler from St John's Marlborough for your interesting design concept. Congratulations to Eleanor Simpson from Altrincham Grammar School for Girls who received a highly commended award for her entry. 
Her concept was an interesting take on the brief and resulted in a unique and eye-catching concept. Well done, Eleanor. The penultimate highly commended award for this brief goes to an individual that grabbed the judge's attention with a striking pack shape and great development of graphics. Congratulations, Charlotte Randall from St. John's Marlborough. The final highly commended of the competition goes to Aidan Heffernan, also from St. John's Marlborough, for his good character development with great consideration to the target market and after use. Well done, Aidan. Now on to the first of the bronze awards for this brief. Congratulations to Melka Lanero from Kingston Grammar School. This entry showed great consideration to branding. The sponsor really enjoyed seeing the development of the graphics. Great work, Melka. The next bronze award goes to Nancy Black of Kirkby Kendall School for her well artworked and colourful concept. Congratulations, Nancy. Tommy Quirk of Oakland's College is our next bronze award winner. The model was very well executed and showed great design creativity. Well done, Tommy. Jeannie Johnston of Rygate School of Art also receives a bronze award for her visually striking design that would have real shelf appeal. Great work, Jeannie. The penultimate bronze award goes to an entry that showed great exploration of the brief. The sponsors really liked the novel colour design. Congratulations to Daniel Fraser of Southwold's Academy and Sixth Form. Our last bronze award goes to Oliver Banks, also from the Southwold's Academy in Sixth Form, whose entry clearly understood the requirements of the brief, with excellent graphic exploration that the judges thought would really appeal to the consumer. Well done, Oliver. Now, let's move on to the silver award winners for this category. Our first silver award goes to Annabelle Westcott from the Hearts and Essex High School. This entry demonstrated excellent research and the judges really enjoyed the unique pack shape. Well done, Annabelle. The next silver award goes to Beth Fry of St. John's Marlborough. The sponsors loved her novel concept in response to the brief with great consideration to the consumer and design for life. Congratulations, Beth. Ella Bissett of Rygate School of Art is our next silver award winner. Her great novel and thoughtful concept really captured the judges. They really liked the use of colour and print to present an alternative Easter gift. Well done, Ella. It's another silver award for Hearts and Essex High School. Congratulations to Caitlin Dwyer, whose eco-friendly concept truly considered the importance of protecting the product. Great work, Caitlin. Cara Shepherd-Williams from Rygate School of Art receives a silver award for her entry that captured judges with its exploration into texture and weaving. Congratulations, Cara. The next silver award is presented to an entry whose development board showed great research into different meanings of Easter and clear design development. Congratulations to Madeline Savage from Hearts and Essex High School. Congratulations to Molly Brench from Kirkby Kendall School, who also receives a silver award for her entry. The sponsors really liked the novel and interesting concept in response to the brief, and particularly the consideration to after use. Well done, Molly. The final silver award of the competition is awarded to an entry with a great graphic concept and good character development. Congratulations to Olivia Tyndall from St. John's Marlborough. Let's give a round of applause to all of the Silver Award winners. And finally, on to the Gold Award winners for the brief, starting with an award to Chloe Elliott of Rygate School of Art for her lovely and well-presented pack. The concept was thoughtful, with strong consideration to graphics, after-use and pack format. Well done, Chloe. The next Gold Award goes to Emmanuel Jacobs from Westminster Kingsway College. This was a very strong submission that had novel product consideration and showed great research and exploration of ideas that were communicated eloquently. Great work, Emmanuel. Sophie Hunt of Kingston Grammar School is our next Gold Award winner. The judges really liked how the pack shape reflected the product and how clearly the design process had been documented. Great work, Sophie. The next Gold Award winner also showed excellent communication and design development with a clear theme throughout. 
The model was finished to a high standard that demonstrated the idea superbly. Congratulations to Imogen Marinko, also from Kingston Grammar School. I'm now pleased to invite Kate Jackson to announce the winners of the Graphic Packaging International Sponsor Awards. I would like to congratulate the pupils at Hearts and Essex High School and Haberdasher's Ask School for Girls. There were a number of great entries from Hearts and Essex High School. We love the creativity and fun of these projects, especially the after use of Emma's design, creating an art supply stand, and of the novel dispensing element of Eve's mini egg chick. And from Haberdasher's Ask School for Girls, we love the creativity of Sophie's entry. There was a great use of colour and character creation, giving a retro gaming theme to Easter. Congratulations to both schools for some fantastic entries. We really enjoyed judging them. Thanks for presenting, Kate, and congratulations, Eve, Emma and Sophie, on your awards. Let's take a closer look at your winning designs. The penultimate set of awards today are judged by Diane Aston, Head of Education and Professional Development at IOM3. She had a very difficult task of reviewing all the packs and selecting the best portfolio in each category. I'm pleased to hand over to Diane to announce the winners and why they were selected. Hello, Diane Aston here talking to you from a rather damp Leicestershire. I'm the Head of Education and Professional Development for IOM3 and once again it's been my great pleasure to judge the best portfolio prizes for the school star pack competition. The entries this year were an inspiration to review and it was clear that everybody had put in an enormous amount of hard work to create their potentially prize winning entries. Choosing one best portfolio prize for each brief was a challenge, um, but I am thrilled to be able to announce the winners for you now. The best portfolio award for brief A, the sustainable shampoo pack, goes to Nathan Flanagan, who produced a very professional and almost scientific account of his project. The award for brief B, food to go packaging for children, goes to the creator of a beautiful portfolio that gave an excellent explanation of the design process. And our winner is Maya Rivers. Brief C explored packaging for seasonal confectionery. The best portfolio prize goes to Eliza Rosek, who presented some lovely ideas that were well developed in a portfolio that demonstrated outstanding storytelling. And lastly, the best portfolio prize for Brief D, Eco-Friendly Easter, is awarded to the very bright, eye-catching and well-thought-out portfolio created by Sophie Sanders. Before I go, I'd like to thank the schools and the teachers for supporting the competition and congratulate all of our entrants on their excellent work. I hope that taking part has opened your eyes to the importance of packaging and packaging design and perhaps even sparked a few ideas for future careers. Finally, I'd like to wish you all every success in your ongoing studies and I hope that you have um, a great summer before the hard work starts again in September. Thanks very much. Bye. Thanks for presenting, Diane. Now, moving on to our final award of the ceremony, this is the School Star Pack Best in Show Award. Here's Neil Duffy to present this year's recipient. Hi, everybody. Um, my name's Neil Duffy. Um, I'm a graphic designer. I work for a company in Gloucestershire called Clarkson Evans. I was a college lecturer for uh, a number of years and I've experienced um, teaching students on the Star Packs Awards. Um, first of all, I must congratulate all the entries um, for the schools this year. Um, they were very strong and I know how difficult it is to enter the competition and the great amount of work that's needed. So well done to all the participants and, and, and for the prizes that they will have received. So. Coming on to the best in overall best in show for the schools award, um, the judges decided that the overall winner would be um, Jamie Chap, um, and this was for his food to go packaging. Um, I considered it to be very well um, researched and documented. The detail in the planning um, was very strong. Um, the, the, the sort of sketches that were outlined and the overall final um, pack that was presented was of a, a standard that you would you would find in a, in a modern day supermarket it had it had attractive shelf appeal so I could see that you know young young uh, youngsters would be attracted to it um, and perhaps perhaps uh, family members would be would, would purchase it or maybe in a supermarket for for, the, for them um, but it, again, you know, it's very difficult, um, and 
to get sort of a professional level at, um, at that, that, that age was, was really well done. Um, so I uh, congratulate Jamie again and hope he goes on to a um, um, successful career in, in whatever he want, chooses to do. It might be design, it might be packaging, it might be graphic design. So, um, so again, well done. Congratulations, Jamie, on an excellent project. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes the Starpack School Awards Ceremony 2020. On behalf of all the team at Starpack, I would again like to thank all the sponsors, supporters and the judges for their support in this year's competition. And we especially thank all our entrants and their teachers for the tremendous time and effort that you put into your packs. Especially given the difficult circumstances this year, the work you do is fantastic and we can't wait to see what you create next year. Awards and certificates will be posted out to all of our winners over the coming weeks. We'd love to see how you choose to celebrate by tagging at Starpack Awards and hashtag Starpack Schools 2020 in all of your pictures on Twitter. We hope you enjoy the rest of your day celebrating your achievements.